We'll begin our conversation with the Iraq War Memorial organizer, Jeff Heaton. What's going on out there, Jeff? Sure. There was a uh, number of people from an organization called uh, Move America Forward, which some of us sort of jokingly renamed them Move America Backwards. But they, uh, interestingly enough, they wanted to have a uh, large demonstration in front of the memorial. Um, a number of them that I've talked to in the past have had the position that this is a mock memorial, that it's a disgrace to the troops, and yet they chose this as a location to have as a backdrop for their uh, campaign to go across the nation in support of the troops. Have you given up trying to explain to them that it is a memorial for the troops? Well, at one point, um, one of the members uh, went up on the hill and actually found a name of their son that had died in Iraq, because we have the names of a number of soldiers from California on the hillside. And he brought it down in in a very, uh, of course, confrontational way, started um, arguing or screaming at me that it was wrong that his son's name would be up there on the sham, as they call it, the sham memorial. Name off of a cross. We did not have our permission to put it up there. Brandon Dewey was his name. We're very offended. I want to talk to who's in charge of this fiasco here that's dishonoring our troops. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got the guts to come down here and speak to a Gold Star family putting our son's name on this disgraceful hill. Come on down here. Yeah. This is a real memorial. People come by all the time, and they have um, tears in their eyes, and they tell me, you know, straight away that this um, really helps them come to grips with the amount of death and destruction that's going on in Iraq, and it really serves that purpose for the community. As it turned out, almost everybody who's worked on the memorial is really against the war, and I was hoping it would be a place where people could come by and have frank discussions about the value of the war and why are these soldiers dying. And that's, that's actually happened. We've had people who've come by and said, you know, I've, I was a Marine, but, you know, this war is wrong, or I'm a Republican. I've been a Republican all my life, but I recognize that our president has totally screwed this up. And uh, so it's been very satisfactory on a number of levels. Jeff Eaton is the organizer of the Lafayette Memorial. You can see it across the street from the Lafayette BART station must have hurt you to have that parent bring that cross down to you. Um, not really. I mean, I, um, I knew they were here to um, sort of ambush us and, and create that kind of a scenario. And um, I decided that I would be over here and, and sort of take the flak. I mean, um, I wanted to be able to just stand there calmly and say, this war is wrong. It's just completely wrong. Um, we got into it for lies, and um, it's just going to go on and on, and the killing's going to go on and on, and it's time to stop it. How often and, do the volunteers go up? I know last Sunday a lot of the media reported you matched the current mark, which at the time was, I think, 3170, and it's larger than that now. Do volunteers go out daily? Do you schedule it, or just whenever someone well, has time? On, on, on Sundays, we've been having volunteers come out to uh, build crosses, paint them, and, and plant them. And we had actually a, sort of a crescendo of 50 volunteers who came out last Sunday. And um, another person pre-built 200 crosses that they brought. And so we were able to get up to the mark of, of one cross per soldier at this point. So we'll still be out here on Sundays from 12 to 2, um, straightening up the crosses, adding a few more crosses, and maintaining the memorial. But um, there won't be a need for large work parties like we've had in the past. Hey, if you get a bird a flag, drop yourself in it first. A place of honor. A hill with this mock crosses next to a bug station on the side of a freeway is not a place of honor. It's a place of names up like this. Disgrace. Right on the other line, we'd like you to hear a couple of minutes from the other side. This is the group out there protesting at the memorial today. Brian Weldon joins us with the Lafayette Flag Brigade. Brian, thanks a lot for a minute. Tell us about your group. What does it do? 
Okay, well, first of all, we started as a, a remembrance to 9-11, and we started on the day after the tragic day of 9-11. Uh, we started forming up on a bridge. Uh, a lot of the community in Lafayette, Walnut Creek, and everybody driving down the 680 freeway saw us and started to come and join us, waving flags, and it was basically a remembrance of the tragic day of 9-11. Shortly thereafter, the war began. Uh, we figured, well, since this is an annual thing, why can't we do a little more? We started to do a lot of support the troop stuff. Uh, I think one of the most beneficial and honoring things that we do today is the supporting our troops with welcome home parties and, and sending postcards all over the, uh, the, the, the uh, conflict uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq. Are you okay with this memorial, Brian? Absolutely not. How come? Well, number one... Um, it's nothing more than propaganda. It's negative, negative, negative propaganda. If you ask any Blue Star mom that we're very close to communicate with or any veteran or anybody currently serving uh, that lives in Lafayette, they'll tell you this is all a negative disgrace. It's nothing more than propaganda. Uh, when you have a sign depicting death tolls and that sign is, uh, is tallied every week, that is negative attention to the troops. Is there anything serious or sobering that one could take from it, from the memorial, or in it, or in your eyes, is it just waste, well, wasted Arlington, space? Well, go to Arlington, you'll see a real memorial. Over here, you'll just see propaganda in a negative way. Can you hold on a minute? Sure. Man, you guys will stop at nothing. You really will. That's right. We're evil. He's negative. Anyway, what were you saying? What's going on, Brian? Oh, we just put up this big, gigantic of American flag with all our signs, and then these uh, these anti-war protesters want to use this as their little platform. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, you know it's, uh, these people these people stop at nothing. Despicable. Well, Brian, thank you for talking with us. We appreciate a couple of minutes, and uh, we appreciate your right to freedom of speech, sir. All right. Take care, man. See you later.